David, aka RV Jedi here. I want to talk a little bit about the big plans that I have for this RV. We're going to do some renovation, and over the next several episodes, you're going to see exactly uh, what I'm going to try to tackle. Now, inside, for the most part, it's in pretty good shape, but I want to personalize this RV, make it mine, uh, tweak some things. And so uh, this is going to be the start of what I hope will be an interesting journey. I'm going to try a lot of different things. So you'll also be able to see some of my mistakes and some of my successes so that if you ever decide to do some RV remodeling, uh, you'll have a, a reference to go from. When I first uh, started looking at RVing, uh, one of the things I knew I was going to do was do some remodeling. So I searched online, uh, found YouTube, and found several folks who did their own uh, renovations. So this is kind of my way of uh, paying it back a little bit. So let's go through some of the renovation plans that I have for this RV. I know some people would argue about this. It may not be quite uh, uh, camping when you're looking and worrying about your TV, but this one's got to go. Not a bad size overall for the TV, but it's not a smart TV, so I want to make sure that I have that in my RV. Uh, and then I want to get a little bit bigger one. I'm going to go with a 32-inch, uh, install it. Behind here, there is a... Uh, Oh, I don't know, a, a mess, a gaggle of different wires going to different things that I'm going to have to sort out as well. But once that's set up, I'm going to have a, a new TV, a smart TV, so I'll have internet connection, be able to check out uh, Netflix and all of those shows uh, online. Uh, and then also I'll have my Blu-ray DVD player in here as well. So this, definitely one of the big projects uh, for the new rig. With all due respect to Spandu Ballet, uh, I have got to get rid of some of this gold. It is all over the uh, RV. I guess it's brass or a brass-like substance uh, from lights to handles. All of those are going to get uh, refurbished, uh, and I'm going to change those out uh, to match the overall theme. But uh, yeah, gold, it's got to go away. So, you know I like to get my chef on when I'm cooking, and uh, I just want to make my area a little bit nicer. So, all along here, this border is going to go away uh, and enter some smart tiles. I've seen them online. Uh, I've actually gone into a couple of stores and looked at them. Uh, I think I can find a nice uh, pattern that will go here, uh, and then I'll also use the same stone uh, in the bathroom uh, for a backsplash. But, uh, yeah, this... Uh, 80s, uh, I don't know, border has got to go away. One of the biggest changes I'm going to be making are to the cabinets. They're all this kind of oak. Some of them are real wood. Some of them not so real. Uh, I'm going to uh, sand them um, and change out the color on all of the cabinets in the rig, bathroom, bedroom, uh, living room area, front cab. Uh, I'm going to change it. I think that this may be the biggest difference that you'll see uh, in the RV once it's all said and done. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. I know that. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it. Uh, I think I've worked out a plan. So um, that is going to be one of the biggest challenges uh, to date when it comes to all of this RV renovation, knocking out, changing the colors of the cabinet. One of the main reasons why I got a new RV, because I wanted more space in the bedroom. I was in a corner cut queen short before, uh, and it was a little difficult to sleep in, won't lie to you. Uh, so this particular unit uh, has a slide out in the rear and will allow me to have a queen short 
or a queen if you really wanted to shove it in there, but a queen size short bed that I can walk around. Uh, so I'm gonna put in a new mattress, uh, still use some uh, pillow toppers and things like that to soften it up a little bit. But overall, I'm hoping that the new mattress will make sleeping in this RV a whole lot nicer. And without a doubt, I think the biggest thing I'm gonna do, change out the flooring. Yep, it's got carpeting, it's got some vinyl uh, in here, uh, and it's all gonna go from the slide all the way back to the bedroom. Um, it's not in the best of shape, uh, but I also wanna put my own stamp on this RV. So most likely it's gonna be a vinyl planking system uh, installed uh, from what everything I can hear, everything that I've seen, everything that I've read. The hardest part is probably gonna be the demo of it all. So um, while I think I'm gonna be able to get it done uh, in a couple of weekends, um, we'll have to see. But uh, this should make a huge impact overall in the RV. May the force be with me. So that's it. A look at some of the big changes coming in the new RV. Um, it's gonna be a whole renovation series and you'll be able to watch it right here on this YouTube channel. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping I'm gonna be able to uh, get everything done in just a, a couple of months uh, and then have a big reveal when it's all said and done. Now, without a doubt, there are probably some other things that I've left off of this video that I probably am gonna update and change. So stay with me with that. I'll probably just throw those in whenever I have an opportunity to. I hope you're along for the ride. It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, remember, if you like the video content here, you like what we're doing here, click, subscribe, like, share. Uh, you can also follow me on the Facebook at Vader Raider, uh, RV Jedi there. Uh, you can follow me on the Twitter and uh, the Instagram and, uh, of course, Pinterest at RV Jedi. Uh, and then, of course, uh, just remember, Get out there, RV, have some fun. It's all worth it. I'm also going... One of the main reasons why I got a new RV was because I wanted more bed spread. A look at some of the big changes coming for the... <laughs> Almost fell over.